Welcome back to Hollywood on Top. I'm Marta Bloom. And I'm Donovan Leach. Donovan, thank you for sticking around. Are you kidding me? I'm having the best time here and I'm really looking forward to meeting the next guest. Okay, let's do this. She's an international beauty gracing magazines from Bella to Sports Illustrated. A fashion blogger, a social media superstar, and an actress coming to you in not one, but five films. Please welcome to the stage, Melissa Bologna. I just take hugs. All right, I, I hug. <laughs> I would just like to point out the shoes. Oh yes, oh, shoes. Yeah. Oh, we, about we all we shoes. all obviously got the memo. Oh yes, we did, right? <laughs> Who wins? I don't that know. That is the question. I think you win. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, yeah. I feel like both of us went for silver. You went outside the box. I don't That's know. right. Okay. And I am a man wearing silver shoes. I think it's a good, I, I think it's a great trio. <laughs> well, welcome. Thank you it's for so having great me. Great to have you here. Thanks, Melissa. You're a part of a new generation of actors that have it all going on. Let's start with social media. You have over 100,000 followers on Twitter and Instagram. How has that played a role in your success? Oh, I mean, it's amazing to be, you know, modern day society where it's so beneficial. It's self-promotion where those channels didn't exist before. And let's face it, if you're up for a role and with another actor, um, you know, it's a free option to have someone with a following that's gonna view your work. So I really, really appreciate it for the support and I try hard to post actively and get great content, but it's, it's hard to keep up, but it's worthwhile keeping up because it keeps you going, it keeps your energy up and keeps you working. As I mentioned in your lead up, you have five movies coming out, five movies? Five. Wow, five. which one out of all these projects are you like so excited about? All of them. Of course. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Come on. My mom didn't raise no dummy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good answer. Uh, no, but I, I mean, I actually genuinely am really excited about all of them. They're all so completely different, different genres. I've got horror, action, comedy. I'm definitely really passionate about Hurricane Heist. I'm excited about Acts of Violence, my first lead. Um, thank you. And of course, the You're a Spectacular Men, which that script owned my heart from day one. And I love to explore my comedy chomps, as they call it. <laughs> In your upcoming film, The Year of Spectacular Men, you work with a female-dominated creative team, including director Leah Thompson. And in The Hurricane Heist, you worked with Triple X and Fast and Furious director Rob Cohen. Very different. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> can, different. Can you just tell us like what that was like working with an all-female uh, crew, and then oh, Rob man. Cohen, Mr. Adrenaline, and How much your time friend, you got? right? <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, it was two completely different experiences, both great experiences, which I'm really happy about. They were two different genres with uh, Leah. Um, I'm not sure if you're aware, but her daughter Maddie wrote the script and starred in it, as well her, as her other daughter Zoe. Zoe uh, starred in it as well, she didn't write it. So it was kind of cool being on set with a mom and daughter. Um, and with Rob on Hurricane Heist, he's the master of action. Oh yeah. He, his ability to know exactly what he wants never ceases to amaze me. He's very specific because action's very technical and also you have to keep your actors safe. And always pushing it to the next level. Always. I hung out of a truck. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> We're going to play a game called Pick a Roll. I love games. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, obviously it is like all about women and film now. <laughs> you guys are just realizing that? <laughs> just <laughs> realizing. Well, I've always realized that myself, Smart but man. it's becoming the audience is now uh, really embracing roles like Charlize Theron and you know, like there, there's these actresses who are, who are now action stars, yeah. you know? This is, this is amazing. So this game that we're gonna play with you, we wanna see where your head's at with some very iconic actresses. So Melissa, look at the wall. We're going to show you four leading women in four iconic roles and we want you to pick the role you would like to play most in a sequel. Cameron Diaz in Something About Mary, Gal Gadot in Wonder Woman, Kate Blanchett in Queen Elizabeth, Sharon Stone in Basic Instinct. Which role would you like to play? <laughs> I mean, this is a tough call. They're 
I would be, I mean, they're all dynamite choices. Well, yeah. Cameron Diaz, I mean, gosh. She's so funny. She's America's funny. sweetheart, so genuine and sweet. And I love that role because she's hilarious, she's free, and she's adorable. Uh, Gal Gadot, I actually have not seen Wonder Woman yet. I can't wait to see it. Um, I've heard nothing but rave reviews. She's amazing. That's what everyone says. Um, and obviously she looks fabulous, she acts fabulous, and she was apparently pregnant while shooting part of that. That's a strong female role to play, which I think is awesome, and also falls into the I feel like with your genre. action background too, you could you could do Gal Gadot. Totally, yeah. totally. Um, and then Queen Elizabeth, first of all, I love Kate Blanchett. I think she's an insane actress. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I would look good in that neck piece. <laughs> but it would be cool uh, playing a period piece like that. And gosh, Sharon Stone Basic Instinct. I mean, that's an iconic movie, and we all know that little yeah. special move yeah. she does. Oh, and you got it down. Thank God I'm wearing leather pants. <laughs> Uh, can you do that again? <laughs> Leather fan. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I think I'm torn between Sharon Stone and Cameron Diaz because oh. they're both iconic roles in their own right. One's comedy, one's uh, what would you call that drama? Drama. Right. I think I'm gonna have to go with Sharon Stone. Yes. yes. <laughs> the star of yes. Basic Instinct. Yes, coming to a theater near Two. you. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa, thank you so much for being with us. <laughs> thank you guys so much for having me. I, and I hope you come back to talk to us about your next film coming up pretty soon in Absolutely. a couple of months. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, I'm talking to you. You've seen your wives do it, you've seen your girlfriends do it, and you know you always secretly wanted to do it. When we come back, we're going to show you what Hollywood men do to stay on top. I'm Marta Bloom. And I'm Donovan Leach, and I can't wait to see what men do to stay on top. From what's hot in Hollywood, from the top of Hollywood, this is Hollywood on Top.